I hope you are all doing well. Today's video is going to be different. And you know, I didn't take the time to look nice. I'm just wearing my fleece pajamas because I know that this video is going to get more views regardless of the way that I'm looking. So yeah, I hope this is going to be helpful for you today. I have a list of fragrances that would work for the work. I have made this list different. I have four categories today. I have fragrances that would work for people who work in an environment that requires a close encounter with other people. Fragrances that would work in the office, but uh, you know, uh, a space that has multiple offices. I have some fragrances for people who work in a single office for themselves and fragrances for people who work in an open space outdoors or in a place that is large and that requires them to move so i'm going to give you examples and explain more if you are interested in watching this list please stay tuned and please if you like it please do not forget to share like subscribe to my channel and leave your comments down below and yeah let's start there is something very important that i need to address before we move into talking about these fragrances that I have with me which is the armpit syndrome I'm not sure if you think the same way that I do but there are certain jobs and these jobs are usually what I refer to as close encounter jobs such as being a dentist, a hairdresser, uh, a flight attendant, a waiter, a physician, a doctor I think these types of jobs really run the risk of, of making us exposed to this syndrome. Like imagine that I am a waitress in a coffee shop, I'm giving the customers their order, say, hey ma'am, that's your coffee. And she said, thank you, but I really didn't need to smell your armpits. This is what I'm talking about. These types of jobs that require us to be close to other people may place more pressure on us on trying to feel clean or smell clean all the time. Like if we sweat, this is not an option. So first, please try to have this thing in mind if you really work in a profession that requires you to be in close contact with people. Moving this aside, I'm going to recommend some fragrances that really work in these types of situations. These are fragrances that are not cloying, that are so, so pleasant to smell on a person if you are very close to them. Example, as I said, a waiter, a dentist, uh, probably a physician and most importantly, a hairdresser. Because, you know, when a hairdresser stands in front of you trying to trim or do something you are not only exposed to their armpits oh man that's so embarrassing anyway let's move to the fragrances the first one actually is a fragrance that i do not have with me but i felt that i have to include it in this list because my husband uh, told me i think last week that he received three compliments wearing this fragrance to work People told him that, oh my God, you smell so good. And they asked him about this specific fragrance. I'm talking here about Versace Prom. This uh, bottle that is glass square uh, has the Versace logo on the middle, a blue juice, very simple, great uh, floral fragrance, but it is aromatic, airy. And this type of fragrance is not going to annoy anybody so even if you are uh, sitting or standing very close to someone they are going to like this fragrance on you this is the first recommendation i have another one i have two other ones i think you could pick either this or that it doesn't matter creed aventus and bleu de chanel i'm talking here about the eau de toilette both of these fragrances are very safe and very pleasant to smell when you are close to someone and it is good because Blue de Chanel usually doesn't project that well. I do not think that Aventus does, in my opinion. You might disagree. But anyway, for close encounter, these two are great. And I have another one, their sister or their very distant cousin. Doesn't smell like these fragrances at all. This is YSL La Nuit de l'Homme. 
especially after it has been reformulated now people uh, complain about it not being so uh, strong and that it doesn't project enough if you are in a close encounter situation this is perfect i think you would love it people would love to smell this on you spicy masculine yeah might be a bit too sexy but i don't know what you do in life so yeah wear it and be confident okay moving to office jobs i have a story this fragrance that no one really talks about this is burberry tot for men i think in my opinion this fragrance should come with every and any office job you know you read the job description when you are applying for a job um like 28 days annual holiday travel insurance and a bottle of burberry tot <laughs> I think this is a very underrated fragrance. It, it is multi-layered. It has two faces, this fragrance. Sweet and floral and clean and fougere at the same time. I think you will love it. Uh, it has a bit of uh, lavender, I think, nutmeg and most importantly, violet. And it really changes. So if you sweat a lot, I'm not sure how this cleanliness kicks off, but as it gets softer and if you have uh, more of a drier skin, you are going to smell the violet more in this fragrance. Great to be worn in an office setting. And here I'm talking about offices that have uh, many people in the same office. So it is not a single person's office, you know? So you have your colleagues, you have customers coming, and yeah, so people are relatively close to you. Not particularly a lot. This would be perfect, and believe it or not, I believe. Oh, you know, this is at least how I imagine it to be. Dexter wearing Burberry Touch <laughs> to the office. Because, you know, Dexter doesn't have time on his hands to watch fragrance reviews on YouTube and pick the latest trends in fragrances. He was just in the mall one day, sniffed it, said, yeah, oh man, that would work, especially that I sweat a lot. So, a great fragrance, and I think this is so underrated. Pick it up. And I would have really wished that Dexter might smell like CH Men Privé, but I doubt that. Anyway, uh, moving to the other fragrance, I think it is a bit similar to that one, but might be suitable for people who are still younger. I have reviewed this fragrance, I'm going to leave uh, the link here in the screen or on the screen. This is Euphoria Essence for Men. This is softer, doesn't have that much projection as Burberry Touch, but still very nice. If you are uh, still in your 20s, I think you might appreciate this more than you would appreciate Burberry Touch. Anyway, very safe fragrance. In the same vein, I have this other fragrance. This is Gentleman Only by Givenchy. A violet sweetness, uh, aquatic a bit, uh, aromatic, very safe. These fragrances are not particularly something special. Some of them are really special. But uh, this one, in the, in the case of this one, it is not that special, but it's very, very safe to wear in an office where there are multiple people. And I really should mention this fragrance because it still is one of my like all-time favorite fragrances for men. I'm here talking about, come on, Jill Sander, Sander for men. I do not know how not many people like talk about it. Sweet, spicy, aromatic, uh, smells so different. I dare you to find a fragrance that smells similar or like this fragrance. A great all-rounder fragrance, not particularly for this situation, but I thought that I would include it as a work fragrance. And now I'm going to talk about fragrances that work in a single person's office. You know, if you are a teacher in your office, university professor, if you are a lawyer, if you are a manager, you have your own office, these fragrances would work perfect because they are a bit more special, probably more professional, and at the same time, I think they smell amazing. They do not really have the strongest projection, that's why I thought that they would work within a single person's office. I'm going to talk about two fragrances, 
Valentina Uomo and Valentina Uomo Intense. This is softer. This is more lipsticky, you know, uh, Dior Homme DNA. Not my favorite fragrance personally. I like it, but I do not find it special. But because now all people are talking about it, this is special for this type of job. I have two other ones as well. The one that no one really talks about now and mention. Fahrenheit by Dior, the original eau de toilette, not so cloying, uh, it is floral, woody, has a touch of spice, I think that is amazing and because it is now reformulated people say that it's not going to project great for the office, the same goes for CH Men Privé by Carolina Herrera, this is how the bottle looks like, a grey, boozy, spicy, professional type of uh, fragrance, I could smell the pepper from from the top anyway a great spicy boozy woody fragrance that would work if you are in a more professional office setting the last type of job if you work in a large space if you move around you might need something louder for example if you work in a factory you move around if you work in a department store you know, you face many customers, but you are not in a single place and probably any fragrance that you wear is going to evaporate and disappear. You want something stronger, louder. I would highly recommend, of course, Dior Sauvage. I cannot make any list without mentioning at least one Dior fragrance. A great, great fragrance because it projects, it lingers in the air. I think this is amazing. Another one by Chanel, second one by Chanel for this listing, Alua Homme Sport O Extreme. This is uh, spicy, aromatic, sweet and uh, fresh at the same time, I don't know how. Anyway, one of my favorite fragrances for men. Let's talk about another one. Okay, I have two. You could either choose this or that because I think they perform similarly. Dolce & Gabbana. The one, Eau de Parfum, and Hugo Boss Bottled Intense. Very similar to each other. Probably this is a bit more ambery, this is more floral. Both of them are kind of sweet, but because you are working in a large space, you know, uh, a department store, for example, or in a shop, it is not going to be cloying. It is going to travel in the air and leave a nice trail. So these two and the final one that I should mention, a fragrance that I have just recently discovered and I think it is one of my all-time favorite fragrances, especially when it opens up. This is Creed uh, Green Irish Tweed. Love this fragrance. Think that it is just going to work similarly to those other fragrances in a large space. Projects so well, smells so special with the lemon verbena, and I've heard that Amaf has a fragrance that cloned this. I think it was called Enchanted Club or Club Enchanted. I didn't find it in the UK. Please let me know if you have tried that because I am lusting over a clone of this fragrance. So, this is my list for today. I think this is a bit different because I tried to cover all areas because we do not usually work in one setting, one kind of profession, we do not have the same job, we have different needs. So I think this is comprehensive because I've been thinking about it for a very long time and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think about this list, if you have any other suggestions, leave me feedback and I'll speak to you very soon. Until then, as usual, please be safe guys. Bye.